Talk to me about that side op that you're running. See if I can actually get a decent, uh, decent run. Here's the setup. You'll need to be careful on your approach. Basically, Rossing can purchase top flight security systems, and he's reinforcing them with a strong guard presence. I thought security was light. Everything's relative. Now, access points for the data center are in the top levels of the structure. It's mostly apartments up there, but you should find what you need. Got it. I'm gonna try not to rely on my sniper so much, but. Sniper one here. I'm not seeing anything. What's that? I actually kind of got here a little early. Usually he's walking this deck by the time I'm here, so... <laughs> On speed runs, I definitely can get faster run times, I guess, by doing this. should probably do my other route because the dog, I actually kind of forgot about the dog. That didn't sound good. There was a dog in the apartment. Was. Huh. The file says he owns a prize winning show dog, purebred. matter because everyone's dead. Normally I would try and do a speed run while playing this as well. Um, 
but I just want to be able to get it right with the extraction all, point, Grim. all kills and Roger that. perfecting the targets. You on board. Solid run. I couldn't do better though. There are a few hiccups I had doing that one. Your account balance has been updated. There you go. Alright, now we got border crossing. I'm gonna run with open mic this time, and if I feel like it's a bit too loud, I'll just push to talk for the rest of the uh, missions. But this is just so I can talk a little bit more actively uh, about why I'm doing what I'm doing. So here we would move a little bit faster on normal difficulty, but on the perfectionist difficulty, their awareness and everything is a lot higher, so you want to play a little bit smarter. See, the AI aren't completely smart, but they're, they're still smart enough. Like normally when I snipe him, these two, even when they just finish conversation, they would not notice the body normally. But he noticed it while the other guy didn't. So, but on a normal run, I would normally just go for takedowns. And if you guys would ever like to see what a normal a normal run looks like, where I'm more aggressive and I'm using the mark and execute, and I'm trying to go for more of a cinematic run um, and faster paced, then I'm, I'm more than happy to go through and do that. But I wanted to show you guys um, and what my perfectionist runs look like on Grimm's missions and even Coben's missions, if you guys would ever like to you know, see maybe Coben's as well. So fun fact about this spot when you hop this fence, if the guard is on this side of this rock, he will come and check, it, uh, check out your whistle if you call for him. If he's on the left side of the rock, he's going to go on full alert and be instantly suspicious on what's going on. He'll try and take cover and start firing at you. Um, if any of you guys have ever had it where he'll come and check you out on the left side instead, then y'all just have really good luck because it never happens for me. He's going out there. He doesn't normally go out there. So that is actually extremely kind of unlucky, but maybe we can work around it. He should never come upstairs, though. Um, I guess I'll say it now if you guys would ever like to see me do, you know, Panther type runs on like Dishonored 1 or Assassin's Creed Unity, for instance, I'm more than welcome and happy to do that. Um, I say Assassin's Creed Unity because it's one of the games like uh, Blacklist, the games that I've kind of tried to perfect in my own style, and I play aggressively, but I also try to play stealthily. Um, one more Dishonored 1, because I kind of prefer that one over Dishonored 2, and of course, I don't really care for Death of the Outsider, so. It's good, but it's not like my cup of tea. We actually got super lucky there. I'm amazed he actually didn't go for um, for instantly hearing us. Even when we dropped. Usually he's in front of those um, ants, but this time I guess, I guess not. Of course he's an easy run. Now, normal on normal run, I would normally snipe him, but we're actually not this time because their awareness on noticing dead bodies is a lot higher. But normally you can snipe him and he'll even fall out of the truck and neither the heavy guard or regular guard will notice him, but in this case, I don't want to risk that, so. And actually the armed guard, see, that's why I usually snipe him because he's usually like he, like he is. This time the rules are reversed, the armed guard is on this side while the heavy guard isn't, so that's interesting actually. Something made a mess of this place. The blast pattern says it was a car bomb. Make and model on the wreckage match what the DCS operative was using. No ah! wonder you want me to check this out. We will have to kill these guards. If they're gonna conversate, we have time to grab the file. Good. 
I'm scanning the intel. But we're not out of the clear because we still have to kill them and then this part of the run. All right, we're done here. Get back to the pickup zone and let's get you out of there. And for some of y'all wondering, Just do it like, before something else goes off. Um, with the Panther runs, I'm not going necessarily for the Panther run where I get the gold bar and it counts that I've done a Panther run. It's a Panther run in my style, but I do still go for that perfection. So if I can get the gold bar and I've killed everybody, that's the goal. If I don't pull it off every time, I'm not going to cry about it, but I would prefer to have the gold bar to secure that I've got any kill that's happened. Oh. Him. What's he doing? Okay, he's shooting the truck. We'll have fun with him. Thank you, Thank you Bulletproof. Off into the... Okay. And honestly, as long as you don't... Run into a mine or anything like that, you are officially done border crossing. You guys can use the strats, obviously. Y'all can do them this way if you want. They're not the perfect way to do it. They're not even the fastest way of doing it. I'm just showing y'all a clean run without me trying to run through the map Go prior for and, grin. Get me out of here. and getting any training, so I'm just kind of running into Roger it. Roger that. I'll see you back on Paladin. So this is Hacker's Den, this is the uh, last mission for Grimm if you don't have the Homelands. But if you do, then you have the Yacht mission as well, um, which of course we will be doing because it counts as all of Grimm's missions. Um, this one as well, I'm going to prove that I'm playing on Perfectionist, just for the ones that don't think so. We got extremely lucky on that. Um, usually I drop off right here, but I played that. I don't even know how I got away with that too far. So ways to prove, we're actually not going to do it on him because I haven't actually taken anyone down. But either way, it'll say it. Let's kill him. let me mark him. It's probably not going to let me mark him, I guess. Which is fine, but... Um, still might not even... But usually... In Perfectionist, for some reason, they let you have your mini-map and then let you mark enemies, but can't execute. See, right now, it's not even saying I can't, even though I executed somebody. Like, um, I did a takedown. But, I was having this discussion earlier in the video that was quite literally this working on this one, but I ended up actually messing up. Um, sadly. So here we are again. This one is definitely my least favorite of the Grim missions. He needs to come right here. Why is he He's talking, damn it. So that slows us down. But either way, uh, I was saying how it's crazy that you can mark and you get a mini map, but with your goggles, which is something you feel like Sam would actually have where you can see through walls, they take that away from you. See, we can see them glowing like that, but we can't see them through walls. When technically that is more of a um, a realistic thing than having a mini map that shows quite literally everything, even the cameras, alongside being able to mark them like this. But we can't do it. We can't execute. So there is a little bit of fairness in it, but it's still a little the hardest difficulty. But yet we get a mini map that provides all intel, along with being able to mark. Usually I would kill him from hanging first, but I've got a little patience right now. Plus I like takedowns, so. So we usually go from C to A to B. Well, let me not be dumb and jump right into this laser a second ago. Dumb mess ups, honestly. It's what it is. It's just dumb mess ups. All right, Grim. I'm accessing your systems. There you go. Can I execute on difficulty? 
Just so you guys are well aware that I'm not. Bullshit. Second data tap is online. Get the last one in place. He's who I want to mark. There we go. Very important that he gets marked. You don't have to, but I'm definitely uncomfortable with not. That's that. I usually wouldn't throw that that early. That was actually kind of dumb. The run. Quickly, you want him to see us. Boom, perfect. That's another way I guess we can get away with doing that. Will we absolutely do that. We have to move his body. If we don't move his body, he is going to notice, and then we're fucked. Where's his body? Uh, why the game had to swap my weapon? Alright, so good deal on that. That part is actually cool. Sometimes. Alright. So we worry about the guys up top first, and we work all the way down. Me even doing that is completely risky, and I accidentally hit Z, which just did that. That was really stupid. That was... I'm amazed after him partially seeing me on top of me accidentally hitting Z and doing the attract. I'm blown away that the game didn't just fuck me over. Okay, yeah, you just got caught. So, extremely lucky there. We are just gonna drop on him because I don't fuck with the heavy guards. They like to be a pain in the ass. If you, honestly, if you even look at them wrong. That guy can totally fuck off. Alright, so this is the part that I just don't remember, I'm being honest with y'all. Is how we get in here. I think it's right here. Servers in the control room. Good deal. Hate this one. I hate it to death. All the data taps are showing go in the seedron. Get to the extraction point and don't let them see or we lose all the data. Understood. And now we're going to dip out of here. I believe I can dip through this way, so we'll go this way. <laughs> I don't fuck with lasers, man. <laughs> Yeah, then you just run out, avoid the mines. Go for extraction. I have visual confirmation. Yeah, let's fuck get this you man. out of there. Fuck out of here. Alright, let's see if we actually messed up, because we might have. Fire transfer received. Yep, there we go. We got it. Cool. I want you to know that I've damn near almost perfected this run just by fucking up the very last part. I can't explain to y'all how sad that makes me. Thought you heard me? That'd be fantastic if you thought you did. You didn't? Okay. Why don't you fuck around and screw me over? Alright. Oh. 
Alright. That action is annoying. <laughs> Green, down terminal, getting access now. Terribly sorry if y'all just heard me swoosh First around my <laughs> Get moving to the next. Right, you can just run around, nobody's gonna hear you. I'm just going all over the wrong place, you're supposed to go right here. The slowest part Something in the run is trying to nice. hack all these because they take a minute. That's two data taps online and active. We've got one more to go. As long as you're smart, this is easy. That one was handed to me. Them talking to each other is actually the best thing that could have happened to me right there. I haven't got- I didn't get that NPC at all. And like, the other guy just wanted to stand there and sometimes swap over, so we got very lucky on that. Alright, Grim. I'm running a hack on the Yacht's nav system. And if you want to start with console, you can, and you go clear. straight down to get him. To point undetected but I, I recommend to start- go to the front of the boat, and then start back. Hey, do it how you want. Or be an idiot like me and do that and run into a window. Pretty sure I can go straight out from here. I mean, actually, do that. Yeah. There we go. Obviously, don't run into the camera feed. At extraction, ready to move. I hear you. Move out. We'll meet up when you're back on board. Yeah, we get up. Our count has been up. There we go. 